Good afternoon or good morning. It's currently technically afternoon where I'm at, but this is going to be a brief video going over the history of the American football. It's about the ball, not the history of the sport. Just to make sure you guys understand that before you watch something you don't want to. North American football, also called gridiron football, which I think is what the Europeans call it. I'm not entirely sure. If someone could comment where football is called gridiron, that'd be pretty rad. It originated sometime in the early 19th century, and the first recorded game was played on November 6, 1869, between Rutgers College and Princeton College, which was then known as the College of New Jersey. Rutgers won the game 6-4. Back then, the ball they were using looked drastically different compared to the modern American football. They were using an air-filled pig's bladder, which had leather stretched over it, then sewn together. These early footballs were not very durable and would often acquire leaks. The players would combat this by stuffing the balls with straw or hay. In the 1860s, English shoemaker Richard Linden invented a rubber version of the pigskin. The rubber version was tougher and the players or whoever was able to use a pump to inflate the ball instead of relying on their lungs. Linden had created this new ball for rugby, which American football had drawn heavily from and this new invention was quickly adopted into the American football. In 1906, the ball changed again when the first legal pass was thrown by Bradbury Robinson. The tips of the ball would be shrunk down or narrowed, causing the ball to turn into a prolate spheroid. This new shape helped the ball to be thrown and tucked under the nook of the arm while running with it. Quick side note, the forward pass was legalized to help make the game safer. As it turns out, old school football was insane. In the 1904 season, 18 players died. In the 1905 season, it was 19. It was so deadly that colleges such as Duke were dropping the sport. Sitting president at the time, Theodore Roosevelt, who was an avid football fan, assembled a committee of over 60 different schools to change the rules of the sport and make football safer. So, in the 1906 season, these rules were implemented and Bradbury Robinson threw the first legal forward pass. The forward pass wouldn't start to be regularly used until later in the century due to there not being a pass or an interference rule. And the danger aspect of the game wasn't affected too heavily by this. Between September of 1908 and summer of 1909, there were over 30 football-related deaths. Okay, let's get back on track. The National Football League was founded in 1920, and by the 1930s, the footballs began to be standardized. The ball was tapered even more on the ends, and the middle of the ball was reduced in size. As before, this helped the ball to be passed and tucked under the nook of the arm for running, but due to the ball's unpredictability once it hit the ground, it almost completely removed the drop kick from the sport. In 1941, Wilson Sporting Goods, which is a sports equipment manufacturer based in Chicago, started to manufacture the footballs for the National Football League, and since then the football has changed very little, with just minor improvements in the grip and stitching. Thanks for checking out this video. If you noticed any misinformation or if you want more information on a certain subject, please let me know in the comments. Thanks.